Hey, what's going on guys? It's Link here. Welcome back to another video and guys today We're gonna be doing a full Easter egg guide for the map daybreak The first thing you want to do is start by turning on the power in the power shed Once the power is on you're gonna need to find dynamite that is around the map This is where I found it in multiple games So I'm assuming this is the most common spawn point now We're gonna build the trample steam the first location is going to be in the diner on top of this table right here The second location is gonna be in the garage next to these lockers the third location is going to be next to this tree. And then the fourth and final location is going to be next to this rock right here. Now you can head back to the garage and you can build the trample seam. You will need this for the Easter egg. Next thing we're going to focus on is building the shield. Now once you have the trample seam built, you can place the trample seam in this position right here. And it will take you up to the double tap area where the first shield part is located. Now it's important that you do have the trample seam for this easter egg like I said. Because without it, you cannot do most of the steps. So the first location is going to be right over here on this rock. Once you've got the first part, you're going to pick up the trample seam and you're going to place it to the left of where you just picked up the first shield part in this area right here. So once the trample seam fully goes down, you're going to hop on in this location and then you'll be up here. Now the second part is actually where you land. It's against this rock right here. Now once you have both shield parts, you're going to go to the diner and then you'll go to this workbench and you have the shield. Next thing we're going to focus on doing is getting the wonder weapon for the Easter egg. So that dynamite that you picked up earlier, you're going to go to the garage behind the cash register and you're going to place dynamite right there. It's going to blow up this safe right here and then it will give you keys that you need to pick up. Once you pick up the key, you're going to head back to the power room and you will see a crate right to the right of the power box. You will open it up and it will give you the wonder wap. You will need this for the Easter egg. Next thing you're going to do is there will be three orbs around the map. You're going to shoot these orbs with your Wonder Waff and making sure that they go up into the sky. The first one's right here next to Double Tap outside of the map. The second one is right behind where the second shield part was outside of the map right here. And then the third and final location is next to Pack Punch on top of this light pole. It's kind of hard to see, but you will eventually see it. Next thing we're going to do is get the relic. So once you shoot all three orbs, you'll see a relic right here. It will be yellow, wait a little bit, and then it will eventually turn black like so. You're going to pick up the relic, and then you're going to head back to the diner and place it on top of the stove top. Now once you do that, it will start a lockdown. That's usually about three minutes, so make sure that you have good perks. I recommend using your trample seams in this situation because it just gets crazy. Next, we're going to focus on the power gens. There will be three generators around the map. There you see the first one. Here's the second one right here next to Double Tap. And then the third and final one will be right next to Juggernaut. Now, with these power generators, you will need to kill a Nova Crawler next to them, and it will charge them up like you guys see on the screen right now. Once you have all three power generators charged up, you will need to Pack-a-Punch the Relic. But before you do that, you need to place the Champel Steam down for Pack-a-Punch, allowing you to get up there in a fast motion. Now, it's very important that you guys follow this step for exactly what I'm doing. So right here, I'm showing you guys blue barrels around the map. Now, once you pick up the relic, you will have to follow these barrels in a specific route. It's kind of like doing the magma gun on Blood of the Dead, where you have to keep recharging it over time. And these blue barrels serve as your charge up points. So here I am showing you guys all of the blue barrels around the map. And it's very important that you guys follow this exact route that I'm showing you guys. And then also making sure that you do have that trample seam down near the Pack-a-Punch. Because if you have to place it down, I'm pretty sure if you put the relic away, it just goes back to the stove and you fail the step. So in order to prevent that, making sure you just have the trample steam down before you start this step. And then finally, once you get to the end, you'll place the relic into the Pack-a-Punch machine. Here's footage of me doing it just so you guys kind of have a visual like representation of uh, what I'm trying to say. But it's very important that you follow this step and this route the exact way that I'm showing you guys in the video. You guys can see I'm not taking up too much time. And also, the barrels charge up the relic from a pretty good distance away. So you don't have to be exactly too close to it, but just make sure that you are close enough for the barrel to activate. And then finally, once you have finished, place the relic into the Pack-a-Punch. Once you place the relic into the Pack-a-Punch, it will start up a soul box feature and you will have to kill zombies near the Pack-a-Punch. Now, once it is filled up, you will have a tag your totem style step where there will be a big bubble above you and you have to kill zombies and follow the bubble around the map. This step is pretty long, so just make sure that you have the weapons and perks that you need. 
but it's okay because there is a bunch of max ammos and carpenters so just make sure that your shield doesn't fully break because if it does it will make this step 10 times harder than what it needs to be once you have finished the bubble step your screen will turn white and then it will be nighttime on the map and then you have successfully beaten the easter egg now go back to the pack punch and you'll see the relic right there interact with it and then the game is over congratulations you have just beaten the main easter egg for the newest custom zombies map daybreak if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more videos like this in the future make sure to like button also subscribe to the channel thank you guys so much for all the love recently i appreciate it and i'll see you guys later peace